Welcome back everybody, I hope you're having a beautiful day And I hope you're ready for a lot of nice guys It's gonna be a wild ride No wholesome memes, just two hours of nice guys And with that being said, good luck guys why I'm single, 2% because of my shyness, 3% because I don't flirt, 95% because I respect women. Wow. <laughs> Let's hope that you're joking, hey? Oh yes, the reason I'm single is because I'm too amazing of a person. How do you even say something like that without laughing? Yeah, the reason that women don't like me is because I'm too nice. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> like, it doesn't straight away mean you're a bad person, but the reason isn't because you're too nice. That's like if your car ran out of petrol and you were like, oh, it's not going because I put too much petrol in it. It's probably the opposite. Woman will cry for a bad boy and laugh at a nice guy. Okay, so two questions. What video are they saying this on? And how does it have 1,200 likes? Like 1,200 people is a lot of people. Imagine 1,200 people in one place. And now imagine that every single one of them read this and was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. That's horrifying? Yeah, hi. Sorry to bother you. You're not bothering me, but to prevent any misunderstandings, I'm not looking to date. Wow, that rejection was quick. What makes you even think I want to date you, lol? I guess you have a boyfriend. Yeah, so why do you care if you don't want to date me? Answer my question first. F sir, yes, sir. Look, I don't want to date, period. Whoa, stop mixing me with the idiots who want to take you to bed straight away. You're assuming a lot there, girl. No, doesn't mean not now. I'm not going to date you. Not right away either. Why so stubborn? Hmm. You could tell me about it next to a good coffee. Dude, please go and try to pick up someone else. Well, it's certainly difficult to break the ice with you. You're not breaking the ice. You're ignoring me saying no. <laughs> oh, that's an exaggeration. Stop making it into such a big deal maybe, huh? You're seeing stuff you want to see for the drama. Acting like I'm being pushy, lol. You haven't even listened to what they said. <laughs> you are being pushy. Dude, I said no, not now, not ever. How would you know about not ever though without even giving it a chance? Kind of judging a book by its cover there, aren't we? I know because it's my decision. Whoa, chill girl. I guess I'll just try again later when you've had some sleep, huh? Well, so they're gonna keep pestering them? Hi. Hey there. What are you up to, girl? I think we know each other well enough that I at least deserve a reply, don't I? Even if the cold shoulder hurts. Hey, wanna grab a coffee? Hi. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Hey there, what are you doing on New Year's Eve? Hey, happy Easter. Hi. This convo would be infinitely more interesting if you deign to answer now and then. Don't tell me that you don't have two minutes to type a reply, lol. Merry Christmas, beautiful. Yeah, but because somebody has time to reply, that doesn't mean they have to. Ooh, look who's there. It's been years. They've been messaging them for years. You're delusional if you think you can wear me down. Just stop messaging me. Exactly, it's been been a year and I can do several more easily enough. I'm stubborn where it matters. This is straight up harassment dude. I'm taking this to the police. Oh, so people talking to you online is harassment now? Why didn't you block me then, Harp Princess? I did and you kept complaining about it to my friends until they were fed up with you too. Remember? Fun times. Look, I don't want you to pity me, but if you just took the time to understand why I am the way I am, you'd get a lot of answers to your questions. I never had any questions. Get lost. Look, a lot of crap happened to me last year. Maybe don't add to it on purpose, okay? I'm just trying to be nice here because that's the kind of person that I am. I'm trying to cheer people up even when I feel down and depressed. If you have the time to listen, I'll explain it all and you'll understand. Oh my god, they don't want to talk. And if you keep messaging them, that's not being nice. But don't judge me until you know the full story, please. Yeah, I'm still taking this to the police. Bye now. Oh, fine. Be that way. I should have known you're a freaking psycho, Beyond. Like everyone else around this city. You're all just playing with good men and laughing behind our back. Calling us creeps and complaining to the police. Like they even give a damn about someone talking to you respectfully. You delusional cretin blanks. I don't even care anymore. If I ever you know what myself, just know that it'll be on you. That's an awfully not nice thing to say. Yeah, I'll be sure to prepare your obituary accordingly. Heartless B-Arch, you're blocked, you monster. Wow, that was a heavy conversation. 
But yeah, they said so many times that they weren't interested. So you don't keep messaging somebody when they're not interested. Yo, with this song in that, yo, crazy if you ain't eating you know what for breakfast, lunch and dinner. The single good guys be in the back waiting patiently and yo got this handed on a dinner plate. This is why I'm always a douche, deprived and hungry. I'm thinking that you probably aren't a very good guy. The really good ones don't have to say it. Most of us good guys have to say something or we won't be found at all. But I don't really care about having a relationship, let alone sex. My hands can do a better job than any women. You don't even know me, so who are you to say if I'm a good guy or not? Because you'll never know or find out. That was a really concerning thing that we just read. If you're talking about people like this, of course you're gonna have women problems if you talk about them like this. You obviously don't have a very good attitude towards women. But no, most of us good guys have to say something or we won't be found at all. Going on about how nice of a person you are to people, it doesn't actually make them think that you're a nice person. You have to actually be a nice person. Girls will crave such guys who treat them worse than tissue paper. And then the nice guy sitting there thinking, what did I do wrong? Later, the same girl will go and say, where are all the good men? Well, they're with the sane women so they can stay a hundred feet away from your toxic personality. Wow. Saying that other people have a toxic personality while saying something so unbelievably toxic. Like, is there a more toxic attitude than the nice guy sort of incel attitude? Like, it's so bad. In 1837, a British man sued a woman who bit off half of his nose after he tried to kiss her without consent. The judge ruled against him, stating that when a man kisses a woman against her will, she's fully entitled to bite his nose off if she so pleases. Yeah, the top comment. I'm confused. I'm expecting a meme to piss me off, not make me go, hell yeah. Remember, ladies, a leg press machine will make your legs shake, mascara run, and won't emotionally abuse you. Oh, and another girl who got betrayed by some playboy, and now she blames her whole gender. Such a dummy. You're dense. It's a common experience for a woman to meet a nice guy. Everything's fine, and he gets progressively ruder and more demanding and toxic. This has been my experience for 95% of the guys I've met. Yeah, it sure can happen, but there are good guys out there. You just have to recognize them. You literally have Andrew Tate as PB, and you talk about good guys. Oh, B Arch, good guys exist, but if you try us, we're gonna smash your family's ass. Yeah, calling somebody a B Arch and also saying that you're gonna smash their family. Yeah, that's what a nice person would say. It was the air of mystery. Oh, freaking hell, is that all it takes? Women like making themselves miserable. I invited her to so and so, a real freaking date, but she'd rather chase after a bum. A bum! They asked him out, he said no, she took it in stride. Nobody is chasing anybody. Yeah, I bet it stung. Why would you humiliate yourself when a decent guy is waiting for a chance to show you a good time? The mind boggles. I think it stung you more than it stung them. I just get mad at seeing a good woman not getting the treatment she deserves. Wow. Yeah, but assuming that other guys are bums, that's not a good, nice, decent thing to do. Girls will always pick to be with the guy who's harder over the guy who will treat them the best. I'm a prime example of that. I'm the single best guy for any girl, but I'm overlooked because I'm not a chad. Oh my god, are we starting the video like this? I'm the single best guy for any girl. <laughs> how do you even say that? Like, how do you let your thumbs even write those words on your phone? Oh yes, I consider myself to be the single best guy for any girl, but I'm overlooked because I'm not a chad. Nah. She infuriates me. I can't stand these young women throwing themselves at these obnoxious brutes and then expecting us chivalrous men to come to their rescue when the deadbeat daddy goes back to DJing or working his 9 to 5 construction job and misses all of the child support payments. Okay, so I have no idea who they're talking about, but it doesn't really matter. Like, this is so bad, no matter who you're saying it to. The anger towards women. Why do they choose these obnoxious brutes over chivalrous men? It has a lot of nice guys finish last sort of energy. Is it normal for my boyfriend to be attracted to and possibly interested in another girl? No, this sort of behavior is a lot more normal for women than it is for men. Men are usually faithful to their partners, whereas women usually cheat. You're probably one of the majority of women who intentionally only dates guys who aren't interested in committing to you. You ignore nice guys who would commit because they're not tall or handsome enough. And then when the tall and handsome guy cheats on you, you complain about 
about it on Quora? Okay, so that better be fake because that's so bad. You're telling this person that you don't even know how they're acting and the sort of men that they're choosing? Like the mayor of Assumptions Town? Completely assuming pretty much everything here and putting it on the other person? And I don't know, that really doesn't seem like something a nice guy would do. Hi, what's up? Not much, just got back from work, ready to call it a day. Oh, tired already? I was thinking about a video call. I'm not comfortable with that, besides I'm super tired, I just want to go to sleep. Oh, come on, just a short video call. You might even get some sweet dreams about me. Uh, no thanks. As I said, I'm not comfortable with a video call and I'm tired. You know, a relationship is supposed to be about putting your significant other's needs before your own. Just saying. Well, first of all, you're not my significant other. We're not even in a relationship and just this conversation alone is enough to let me know that we never will be. Secondly, if I go by your word, should you also not consider my comfort, Mr. Gentleman? Wow, you are such a B-arch. B-arches like you will never get a nice guy like me. You'll be forever alone while I enjoy the empire I build with my girl. Yeah, if settling for a nice guy means something like you, I look forward to being alone. All they said was they didn't want to have a video call. How does that mean they're a B-arch? Oh yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, I have something to say. I'm so tired of y'all females talking crap about nice guys. Y'all females just want a toxic relationship, but oh well. Okay, so assumption number one. I'm tired of y'all females rejecting me like that crap happens every time I go out to a bar or something. I see a hot female and I ask for a number and she gives it to me and if I text or call her to ask her out, all I get is a no or I'm seeing someone else. Like I'm freaking tired of it. That's why I'm mean to y'all because I can't take rejection. Well, at least you're aware of that, I suppose. I'm not asking to be in a relationship. I just want a one night stand. For reference, I'm 34 years old and I still live with my mum and I don't work. Downvote me all you want because y'all females are weird AF. Yeah, no, no, no. Stay optimistic. Don't go down the road of hating people just because you can't handle rejection. Like you even said it yourself. Because I cannot take rejection. Like that's something that pretty much every single person deals with. Like they even said, you just need to learn how to handle it. I don't know why people think that hating the other person is going to somehow make it easier. And also, yeah, don't call women females. Oh, wait a second. There's more comments here. Why do you do him like that? Why are you so mean to that dude for? He was just trying to give you money, but you didn't take it. God, I hate when y'all females act like this. Y'all some weird creatures. God made a mistake by creating y'all. You didn't take the money that he was going to give you. Shame on you for being a selfish person. Some of y'all hoes don't deserve a man, especially a nice guy like me, for example. Y'all some selfish ass creatures. Yeah, at this point, I don't know if they're joking or not. Like, you can't call somebody a selfish ass creature after saying that you're a nice person. Like, come on, that's just ridiculous. I'm only toxic if y'all reject me. Yeah, but that doesn't make it any easier. I feel so bad reading stuff like this. Like, I genuinely hope they realize that this doesn't make any sense and hating people isn't a good way to live life. And yet, for the modern women today, they absolutely must go chasing after the bad boys and jump on the you-know-what carousel because they think that they can change that behavior when they're 30 or something and alone with cats because you're all used up and wondering where have all the good men gone? They friendzoned them and it's only the betas and the sims that are just waiting for them to give them a side eye glance in their direction and they're so thirsty for any female attention that they'll dang near you know what themselves to be that one that'll get the glances. Meanwhile, the real men have moved on and they won't even acknowledge their existence. The wall is undefeated and will ever be so. The only way women can dodge the wall is to graduate high school, get married early, remain loyal and willingly submit to your husband, be feminine and not womanist, and above all, submit yourself to God above all others. Wow, so angry. That's so bad and such an unhealthy attitude. And there's so much nice guy slang in this, like bad boys and the you know what carousel and betas and simps and friend zoned and talking about how women hit the wall. Yeah, really not good. Woman, I'm an extrovert, not a pervert. Don't flatter yourself. I'm not even trying to flirt with you. I was just asking. Suddenly, you said you have a boyfriend. Ah, uh, hello. You think I'd fancy someone with a face like yours? Three inches of powder foundation? If I smack you in the face, it'll be a haze all over so-and-so. You're a phony, a pretend saint. Get over yourself. Well, to be fair, they didn't say they were a nice guy. They said, I'm an extrovert, not a pervert, which is a pretty bloody strange thing to say. To be honest, women love calling men childish, but in reality, 
majority it's women that are childish. A man who was raised right and was taught to respect women are called boring. But a man who disrespects women are fun. Yeah, but who actually thinks that? And if you meet somebody who does think like this, why would you assume that everybody else was like it as well? It's the assuming that everybody else is the same and then also getting angry at them as well. I feel like that's what the problem is. Straight guys do not understand that this is what women actually find hot. Oh, it's because most don't. Most women don't find confident men who don't care about conforming to the arbitrary rules of society attractive. Uh, yeah. Most women want bad guys. It's a fact. If you want good guys that are good for you, but most women want those bad guys, unfortunately. Are you a woman? You sound like one of those insecure nice guys. Yeah, thinking stuff like this about women is like assuming that when you walk down the street, every single person hates you. Like, if you believe it, then yeah, you'll believe it. And it's gonna cause a lot of stress to you. But it's all made up in your own head. About me, I try to be a gentleman, but most of you ladies aren't into that. I see too many pretty girls without a man. Photography's cool, so is carpentry. I always want to be more and do more. I tend to keep to myself, but not a shy type. I'm not expecting much from this app. Yeah, that one's not that bad. Like, yeah, they're being cynical for no reason. And the bit about ladies not wanting a gentleman. Like, yeah, that's bad. But yeah, we read stuff that is so much worse. But that still doesn't mean that it's good. Are you taken? Yeah, happily. Yep, not talking to you then. Have fun with your fictional boyfriend. Yeah, okay. Have fun with your fictional boyfriend. Yeah, I will have fun with my actual boyfriend. Thank you. Have fun with your fictional boyfriend. So why did they say that three times? And also, once again, they never said they were nice. They're like, I'm not even pretending to be nice. But yeah, so unnecessary. How do you lose a woman? Just be a good guy. They hate that. Well, yeah, okay. Girls running back to the same guy who ain't crap and will break their heart. Yeah, except nice guys pretty much think that every guy who isn't them is a bad person. It's so bad. About me, I'm Jake, a 40 year old man who's looking for a partner to start a family with. I'm a bit nervous with girls, but I'm really nice when I'm not violent or moody. Oh my god, what? <laughs> yeah, what a way to start a video. I'm really nice when I'm not violent or moody. But yeah, that doesn't necessarily mean you're nice. A bloody serial killer could say that. Yeah, most of the time I am a pretty nice, approachable person. And all those other times when I'm murdering people, no. <laughs> I have anxiety and go to creepy websites, but I'm working on getting better. Wait a second. <laughs> There's so much to unpack here. I have anxiety and I go to creepy websites, but I'm working on getting better. You're working on not going to creepy websites? What sort of creepy websites are we talking about? I'm looking for a girl of breeding age. Okay, I feel like that phrase is a red flag. I'm a good provider and I'm willing to work hard to make my family happy. I'm looking for a girl who is kind, compassionate and intelligent. She should be someone who's willing to work hard to make a family with me. If you think you might be the girl for me, please send me a message. I would love to get to know you better. Yeah, I feel like people are gonna need a lot more information first. I'm really nice when I'm not violent or moody. That could mean so many different things. Like maybe it's not that bad, but they're really bad at writing a bio or something. Hi, you're very beautiful. Oh, hi, thank you. Who are you? A friend of so-and-so. I found your stuff off of hers. Took me a while, but you're just so pretty I had to find you, lol. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Lol, sorry. I didn't mean for it to come off that way. I just wanted to appreciate your beauty. So, are you taken? Uh, yeah, why exactly? I don't know. I wanted to see if you wanted to go out sometime, but I guess since you're taken, you won't take me up on that offer. I mean, it depends on what you mean by going out. If it's a friend type of thing, then maybe we can go with so-and-so. No, no. I meant just us one-on-one. You know, hang out and get to know each other. So-and-so was going to invite me next time you all hang out. So why don't we just get to know each other then? It would be much easier seeing as she's probably going to schedule something soon. Because I wanted to get to know you more personally. Who knows? I might take you from your boyfriend, lol. Ew, end the conversation. Uh, no, from my girlfriend. Oh, what? Are you one of them bi girls? I mean, I don't judge. I'd love to have a threesome with someone like you, lol. Just means more, you know what, for both of us. Uh, excuse 
excuse me? Number one, I'm not bi. Number two, I'm lesbian, so I'd never date or do anything with a man, much less someone like you. And number three, that's so disrespectful and disgusting to say. Gosh, I was just being funny. It was a joke. Calm down. I see why no guy wanted to date you. You sound like a stuck-up biatch. That's probably why you claim that you're lesbian when in reality you were just too ugly to get ding-dong. Maybe if you had some, you wouldn't be so biatchy to everyone you meet. I was being nice. You said maybe I could steal you from your boyfriend. That's not being nice. None of this is nice. You weren't being nice and that's not how lesbian works. Consider yourself blocked. No, no, wait, I'm sorry. I was kidding. Don't block me. And I'm assuming that's the end of the conversation. Wow, that was really bad. I can't stand when people think that they can break couples up. It's so revolting. Like when somebody's interested in somebody that's happily in a relationship and they know that they are, but they still ask them out and they still hit on them and stuff or say stuff like this. The audacity. Oh cool, you on the way to a party? Yeah, just getting ready now. Have fun then. If only I was in town. Ha ha. Could have joined you. Ha ha, yeah. Maybe next time when you're back from your trip. Yeah, for sure. How was the party? Or how is the party? Can you reply to my text, please? You just gonna ghost me? I wasn't on my phone. Sure. What are you wearing? Stop ignoring my messages. It doesn't take five minutes to reply. Oh my god. I'm at a party. I'm not gonna be on my phone all the time to answer you. Not like I have to anyway. I'm not saying you should always be on your phone. Just answer when I text you. Not that hard. Yeah, I'm just gonna unmatch because I'm not feeling this. You're being very pushy when we just matched a few hours ago. You matched with each other a few hours ago. Oh my god. I'm not being pushy, just worried about you, babe. You're at a party without me. Don't want anything to happen to you. Yeah, right. Bye. Well, once again, the audacity. That's something else that's really annoying. Guilt tripping and making people feel bad when they don't respond immediately. Even if it's your best friend of like 20 years or something, there should still never be that pressure of having to respond immediately, let alone somebody on a dating site that you matched with four hours ago. Like, I don't think you should be doing that sort of stuff ever in a relationship, but especially if you've only known somebody for four hours. <laughs> what the hell is that name? Ha <laughs> ha. Who the hell are you? Damn, that was fast. You must be lonely AF. It was eight minutes. Bro discovers the point of instant messaging. I love how you can already tell that this conversation should not happen. Oh, be arch, please. Don't justify being desperate. Damn, you really took it to heart. So what, they're just messaging them to be mean? Why? I didn't mean to scare you for eternity. What, my guy? It's okay, shh, nobody's perfect. This is just sad. I agree with you. Today I cried for the first time in six years, but I don't feel sad. I'm so happy. Go to therapy. I solved it. I'm finally gonna start not being rude to myself anymore. You're lucky that I'm not toxic anymore. It would have been a long day for you. Ew, what? Man, I want to be a ding-dong head so bad. You seem like the biatch that deserves to be shamed. What is going on? Great, you seem like your parents never loved you. Well, I'm glad yours did if they even did that. I feel like I'm looking into an exhibit of what humans shouldn't turn out to be. Oh crap, that's actually good. I can use that when I'm at the gym tomorrow. I really need some extra toxic text to surpass my limit. Yeah, good for you, I guess. God damn, I can't believe you avoid so much. And then they send that photo. Why the hell did you send this BS? Dude, that was a week ago. Get a life. Were you that bored? Why are you so pressed? Relax, baby girl. Ew. Is that how all British chicks react? I'm not British and why come back to the conversation? Give up. I didn't want to leave in the first place. I'm assuming they don't even know each other. Like just being mean and nasty for no reason. Hey, you must be busy today. Ha ha. Okay, you could at least say hi back. It's literally two letters and you can't tell me that you're too busy just to do that. I know you don't have a boyfriend or something to attend to, so you're just choosing not to. I care about you enough to check in on you, okay? My guy, I'm literally at work <laughs> and you were spamming me. You didn't even give me time to reply. All I was asking for was common decency and respect, but I guess that's near impossible to get from the new generational woman. Do people actually expect everybody to be on their phone all day, even when they're working? Nah. Dude, I'm at work and you're acting like I'm choosing to ignore you or something. You're seriously overreacting. Hi is just two letters, nothing more. Yeah, but it would be more. And they're obviously not even looking at their phone. So they're not even going to know that you messaged them. Hey, I'm sorry. I was having a bad night. I just wanted you to learn to at least reply back when someone is caring for you. No.
No, they don't need to learn anything. If anything, you need to learn that people can't respond immediately. About me, ladies, let's be honest. Y'all are just here farming Instagram followers now. This isn't the way to find a love. You're just gonna do the horizontal mumbo with the dude with the super yacht and then he'll forget about you. Those dudes aren't gonna wife you up. If you've got any self-respect, just delete this app, trust me. You'll be better off. If you disagree, let's argue about it. There are so many couples out there that met on Tinder. I'm sure people are definitely finding love on there. And also, obviously, not everybody's on there for that. And that's okay as well. But having a super aggressive bio isn't gonna help. This article assumes that you're already in a relationship. What about the rest of us that aren't? This isn't even a topic on other sites. It's hard to find information about this. It must be so rare. That makes me feel even worse for not having any relationship in the past nine years. The worst part is I'm a nice guy and I see a-holes always dating women. Those same women have been friends of mine when they get their hearts broken and they turn to me for guidance. At this point, I say, well, maybe you should stop dating a-holes when I tell you who and what they are and find a nice guy to date. Are women just, you know what always saying they want the nice guy and go for the bad boys and wonder why things don't work out for them? It's really stupid. Wow, and that's nice, is it? <laughs> News, some guy did a crime. Nice guy. Yeah, that sucks or whatever, but did he have more horizontal mumbo than me? Yeah, oh my god, that's so accurate. Like, yeah, whatever, they're a bad person. But I bet they had more horizontal mumbo than me. Like, finding any way to spin it in their direction. Hi, good morning. Listen, I decided to not go on a date tonight. Since with the hotel, it'll be too complicated. And I don't want to get under pressure. Let's focus on next weekend. Have a good day. Hey, thanks. I mean, why can't we have a normal communication? So, you've decided? You decide that I should come? You decide I shouldn't come? So? You don't answer when I asked you what you were looking for. So I have no idea. Horizontal mumbo, husband, I don't know. So no pressure on my side. Who said I had to sleep in your hotel? No one. Because we didn't talk. Did I say I wanted you to come? That I wanted to see you next weekend? Maybe I just want to do the horizontal mumbo quick and leave. Maybe I'm married. Maybe I won't find you sexy. Well, the lack of communication and consideration is totally unsexy. So what, you're just another one of these girls? You're hot, so you know I'll always be available. I don't give a damn about your body and I can find tall skinny blondes I prefer blondes anytime and anywhere but interesting passionate people it's rare and precious I am rare and precious and I'd like to be considered as such you put the pressure on yourself it's you against you whoa feels nice I don't want to hear about you anymore you're not ready for something nice and respectful maybe I see you in so and so I'm going anyway thank you in quotation marks have a nice day in quotation marks <laughs> what does it mean when they put them in quotation marks. Seriously? What are you, 12? Wait, so what did they do that was so bad? The other person in the green? Like, what they said wasn't even bad. And also, I feel like if you're saying I'm rare and precious in a sentence, not always, but most of the time I feel like it's gonna be bad. But yeah, it kinda sucks, because if they didn't say this, it probably would have been fine. Being a disposable man is the worst feeling ever. They talk when they have no one to talk to, but they slowly disappear when someone better is showing up. What do I have to offer as a man? Well, you have my respect. Your life is upside down. I'll be there virtually for sure. Physically, if distance is not a problem. Need words of wisdom. I got it for you. Time. Fast reply in chat. That's all I can give. I can't call or voice chat because I do have my own reasons why, which is another long story to be told. But does it matter? Of course not. We still lose to someone with calm, money, time, and ability to exist physically. Yeah, so that one wasn't too bad until the last sentence. Every single time, us nice guys, we miss out because of all the chads in the world. The chads with the money and the car and the six pack. But also, they said the ability to exist physically. So, do they not? Are they a spirit or something? Oh my god, a nice guy ghost? Wait, wasn't that a thing? Casper the friend zone ghost or something? Whenever I see aggression and violence like this, I get mad because statistically, he has probably had more. <laughs> no way! More horizontal mumbo than someone who is not such a bad person. This is literally the first post. Maybe they just convey more confidence through their a-holery. But all the same. I'm all for neutering or removing the testosterone from criminals. They need to be made weak and unattractive. Yeah, but are you just saying that because of what you said above? Because statistically, they've probably had more horizontal mumbo than someone who isn't a bad person. You know, like the fact that you're even thinking about yourself in a situation like this is so bad. You know, like something awful obviously happens, something violent. And they're like, how can I make it so I'm a victim of this? Ah, uh, of course. 
women probably prefer people like this and not people like me. Oh my god, that's so unfair. Yeah, not good. Don't know you. Stop OnlyFans. You're better than that. Much of love and respect. Why? So I can find a nice guy like you? I'm gay. I'm not interested in your white knight syndrome. Sex work doesn't equal bad person. I know you're gay. I'm just saying that you're better than that. I'm straight AF. Just got out of a 17 year thing and I gave her way too much money. My worth isn't determined by what I choose to do with my body. Not looking to impress. Just saying that you're better than that. Ew, so cringe. Definition of a nice guy. Cringe is disrespectful and what I was looking to give you was the absolute respect. I'm not looking for anything. I'm just giving you my opinion. You're better than that. Same type of dude to be like, women are you know what, but get no women. Did I even ask for your opinion? I don't think so because I don't care. I don't care what some random man thinks. Do you think you're special to me? Get out of here. No, you didn't. My bad. Keep being a you know what for $15 a month then. I just thought you were better. Yeah, but also the very first message, they said they don't know them. So why are you saying this? But also obviously, if you do know this person, still don't say this. It's so entitled and rude to be like, oh yeah, this is what you should do because I think that's what you should do. I like calm men. Men who don't shout or break things when they're mad. Men who are vulnerable with me. Men who talk and communicate. Men who update me. Men who talk in soft and gentle voices telling you what you did wrong and what made them mad. Unfortunately, these men are swept aside, ignored, ridiculed and chastised for not accepting the prevalent toxicity. They're judged on the number of abs they have, amount of money in their accounts and the number of dimples on their face. So, after years of neglect, they jump to the dark side, they vent and they become exactly the same person, which they never wanted to be, so that they're accepted. The ones who don't end up on Twitter to express and rant every now and then, while working silently on themselves to be the giga chad. You can't say stuff like this that includes like every guy ever. Like of course it isn't true. The person up the top is talking about how they like these types of men, so they're obviously not sweeping them to the side. And yeah, if this person likes guys that are like this, then guess what? There are going to be other people that do as well. Saying that women don't like nice guys is such a cop out. It's like choosing to ignore the real world. Hi, I hope everything's fine. Yeah, sure. How about you? Me? Fine. Super. Thanks. What are you doing? I just came home from working out, chilling on the couch with my husband. What about you? Oh, with husband. I'm jealous. Why though? Because you're not with me. A girl like you should be with a gentleman like me. Oh yeah, because a gentleman would say that. I know how to treat you and make you crazy. Yeah, go and get a girlfriend then. When I get, then she has a boyfriend? The girls has no luck. No girl wants a full-fledged narcissist. What does it mean? That you're acting like a nice guy and that's a total turn off for most girls? I am a nice guy. Why should turn off? <laughs> nice guy is not a good term. Go on Reddit and check out the subreddit. You just think you're being nice, but you're actually just acting like an a-hole by saying that girls miss out by already having boyfriends. I am not acting like an a-hole. When a girl is a biatch, then she thinks that. No, you're just being narcissistic there. If a girl has a boyfriend or is taken just to leave her be, how should I leave? If I leave, but my heart says no. Leave her be means leave her alone and stop being a nuisance to her. No, chatting is no problem. I don't invite her to a candle night dinner, but why would you bother her any further despite your clear ulterior motives? That doesn't make sense at all. It's not bothering, madam. If she sees it as a bother, it clearly is bothering. For you is bothering, for me is flirting with a beautiful girl. Yeah, but still you don't respect her boundaries. That's not a good behavior. I haven't crossed the limits, miss. That's not for you to decide. Okay, let me see you with your boyfriend, then I won't message. No, I won't. Just be respectful and give it a rest already. Am I looking like a bad guy? Well, your behavior is intrusive and that's very unpleasant. Okay, sorry for it. If you thought it was bad behavior, but I didn't mean it bad. Why don't go for a coffee? Please just stop. Just normal coffee. I have no interest in meeting you. Please stop being such a pushover. Yeah, I don't think that's what pushover means. Pushover is always gill. You really are a nuisance by being like that. I am not. You are. What did I do disrespectful? I told you to leave me alone and you're not doing that. Disrespecting my wish here. If I leave every girl, then I will always be alone. Or you'll end up alone because you have a crappy character. Don't go for taken girls and take no as an answer. Don't be rude. You're crappy. I said some good things about you and you got arrogant. I'm just being honest with you. Your pushover behavior is a crappy character trait. Give it a rest now. Okay, but don't be rude. I'm so nice with you. Be also nice. Just stop it already, will you? You're making a fool of yourself. Okay, go away. Don't be a bee arch. Wow, and that's the end of the conversation. Yeah, wow, that felt like when I try to explain something to Chico. 
know? Like, it's just not happening. Over and over again, they were like, yeah, well, you just don't message people like this. Don't message people that are in a relationship. And the whole time, they're like, uh, no, why not? Gypsy, can you see my future? I see a long life, steady job, and loving family. Okay, how about now? I see multiple you-know-whats and butt stuff. So what, they're trying to say that women just want that stuff? It's not as bad as they think it is. They obviously weren't suited. And also, the guy they drew in this has the exact same face in every single one. Like, did they purposely try to make them look super boring? Like, yeah, not everybody's gonna want to be with you. That's really not that deep. How bored, babe? Not bored enough to let you call me babe. Don't get so flattered I call everyone babe. But you're gonna get a new name. Biatch. Oh, the nice guy. Hey, Fedora. Listen, I am a nice guy. It just hurts when I try to be nice and people act this way. How is any of this trying to be nice? Like, try harder, you know? They said one message and they're calling them a biatch. Oh my god, so nice. Hey, beautiful. I don't mind that you have a boyfriend. Send nudes. I'm a nice guy. I'm a feminist. Fine, F you biatch. You're missing out, you you know what? Yeah, it's kind of scary how accurate this is. About me. All American. When I try to pet my cat, she goes, please, no. And I back off because I believe in mutual consent. I don't care about looks or the horizontal mumbo. I just want to find someone who doesn't fall asleep or text during movies. I'm looking for someone cool to just drive around the city at night listening to loud music with. Liberal six foot. Just got back from Iceland. Going to EDC 2023 in May. Relationship type monogamy and open to exploring. I love what you did with the boobs. Uh, what do you mean? It means they look great and they really tie the room together. Okay. Oh my god, cut the crap. Are you actually offended? Or do you feel like you should be because of the messed up repressed empowerment culture that we sound day to day? You show them off clearly in your photos. You're not being sly. So just be you with me. I can't stand fake people. So what are you on Tinder for? Wow, so that was a lot of red flags. I'll cut the crap and get real for you. I don't give a damn that you notice my boobs. I think they're nice and I don't mind showing them off. I was more cringing at your opening line because it was kind of just pointless. Apparently like matching with you was. Especially when your bio says that you don't care about looks and the first two things you say to me are in regards to my appearance. And then you turn around and pop off with an attitude about empowerment and crap. And all I said was okay. Then you call me sly or the lacking of and insinuate that I'm fake. Because of that? That's wild. As for what I'm on Tinder for, thank you for making it so incredibly clear that it's not you. Have the day that you deserve. Yeah, like came in super aggressive out of nowhere. Like, oh, I can't stand fake people and they haven't even talked yet. How do you know that they're fake? I'm going to change. I've been a beta nice guy my whole life. The one that laughs. The one that sees the bright side of situations. The one that thinks of others first. The one that seeks out the weak to help them. Where has this got me in 45 years? No freaking where. I'm alone. I'll never have a family of my own. I know that's selfish. It's brought pain to the people that love me because I never stood up and took control of my life with an iron fist and left my throne unseated. I haven't made the world a better place. In hindsight, I've made it worse. I've failed myself and everyone in this world up to this point. No more. I will be alpha AF. I will say what is on my mind. I will do what I think is correct. Time to go dark. Yeah, okay, but nothing that you said up the top was bad. The one that sees the bright side of situations and the one that thinks of others first. So what, you think everything's gonna get better if you don't do these things? How does that make any sense? Like, it almost sounded sort of motivational, but it's really not gonna help if all you do is become a mean person. So I'm male 22 and frankly enraged right now. I found out my crush, female 24, is currently in a relationship right now with another man, male 27. It's hard to be honest. I feel like she led me on. She'd always try to strike up a conversation with me in class and making me feel like a person instead of a garbage heap. How dare she lead me on? I was gonna ask her out at the end of the semester. I was going to let you love me, but instead you choose someone else. Someone who could never care or love you like you deserve. What can I do to win you back? Wow, having a conversation is leading somebody on, is it? No, it's not. How dare she lead me on? By the sounds of it, she didn't. Like what? You had a conversation with me and you treated me like a person, but we're not immediately in a relationship? Are you leading me on? No, but for real, that's kind of sad and I hope they're okay. Like if all it takes is somebody to treat you like a human being for you to assume that they're interested in you. Yeah, that's not good. If your boyfriend, hubby or baby daddy ain't your friend and is mean to you, 
leave him immediately and call me? You women are valued around me, but not if you think you're in charge. The last thing you are is in charge. Maybe if when you change your rag and what we're eating for dinner, that's about it. The rest will be provided. You're a woman and you need to assume your role. Yeah, I don't think this is a nice guy, but it's still really bad and gross. I love your name, lol. It's so cute. I'm actually going to go to sleep now. I hope you have a good night and enjoy the movie. I'm looking forward to going out with you soon. Hey, what you up to? I'd love to go out with you sometime today or tonight, even if it's just for a little bit at night time after you're done with your clients, for a drink or to eat. Well, I'm honestly genuinely interested in you and you seem super disinterested in me. Kinda sucks because I wanted to take you on cool dates, experiences and adventures and get to know you more. Damn, so no response? Just gonna leave me on red while you reply to other peeps and you snap? That's cool then, you probably don't deserve me then. Your loss will be another girl's gift. I'll show another girl amazing dates and adventures and be a great man to her. Someone that actually values me and my time and my effort. You lose out? Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stop texting me, this is excessive. For sure, you lose out. You missed out on a great man who wanted to be a good man to you and take you on amazing experiences. Well, then I guess I missed out. Yeah, you did. Explains why you'll be single forever. Plenty of girls that'll say yes as soon as I ask, hey, I wanna take you to dinner and not give me the runaround. I'm tall and thin and handsome. Okay, you can stop now. And I'm cool AF and popular. Sorry, but a man doesn't need to insult women just because they don't reply, lol. I get women easily. Yeah, this should have stopped about 10 messages ago. Yeah, that's why you're on Hinge. I can go out and get 20 numbers in one day. Yeah, take care, bud. Yeah, have fun with your cat life. Thanks, I will. Yeah, of course you will. No man's gonna wanna be with you because you're too much. Living the cat life is not an insult. I don't know why people think that's so bad. I know they mean that they'll be alone forever, which I'm sure they won't. But yeah, I don't know why cats always get thrown in there. Be arch, I wasn't replying to you because I'm talking to someone else. Get over yourself, lol. Delete my number, weirdo. Men don't insult women. Take your childish ass out of my messages. He'll drop you soon. He'll get his horizontal mumbo in and then kick you to the curb. Dude, why are you still messaging me? If I'm not good enough for you, why are you spending your time emotionally abusing me? Laughing my ass off? I feel sorry for you. Yeah, pretty much the entire conversation didn't need to happen. Like the first couple of pages weren't too bad, but that's when it should have ended. Hi, are you aware of any organizations for helping trans people? Appreciate it. Yeah, I know some ways. They use PayPal though. Do you have one of those? I do have one, yes. And again, thank you. Seriously. Sure, so here's how you get help. I saw your post with that cute dress. I'll pay for a month of your estrogen if you send me some pictures of you in the dress. And some nice panties with the skirt lifted up. Simple transaction. Wow, just wow, gross. Please kindly exit my messages and never tell that crap to anybody again. Oh, so I'm the bad guy for trying to get some cute pictures? Well, excuse me. Christ, I'm being the good one here. Don't you call me gross. I offered your confused ass money for simple pictures. I'm probably one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. That is until you insult me for something wrong that I didn't do. I know stopping estrogen so suddenly can have some pretty bad effects on your body. And I hope you go through every one of them. Good Samaritans just can't exist in this world without being prosecuted for trying to be nice anymore. Maybe off your precious drugs you'll realize that you should have taken the offer when it was given. F you, go become one of the 40%. Here, I'll pay you two months. What was that? <laughs> I'm probably one of the nicest people that you'll meet. How can you even say that after you said everything else here? Wow, I had a feeling that was going to be bad, but that was so much worse than I expected. Why do women have such a bad taste in men? They unmatch me and stuff, but I catch them looking in public. I could easily pick you up at the gas station, but online you swipe on by, and then you match with some douche who sends you a you-know-what picture in his messy room, and then y'all complain about it to guys like me? Nice guys finish last, but where does that get you? Still single? Support your local nice guy. I may not send you a picture, but rest assured it speaks for itself, ladies. Rant it over. Yeah, like the top comment says, why does he not pick up a woman at a gas station if it's so easy? Yeah, 100%, and I feel like that's enough nice guys for today. 
What's poppin'? Not much, what about you? I was just thinking to talk to you. I've got a civil court case tomorrow. It's gonna be my first time in court. I didn't do anything wrong. I have a case against somebody. It's gonna be online. What does that mean? What do you mean? Which part? A case against somebody? Yeah, I don't wanna say because then you'll ghost me and I'll feel bad for opening up. No, tell me. Do you wanna move to Facebook? No, then no. Oh, okay. And they send a thumbs up. Bye. And then they send a waving emoji. You're mid 4 out of 10 and overweight anyways. Yeah, smile a bit more, dude. What's for supper? Don't be touching them sweets again. Got anything wise to say or can we unmatch finally? What was for breakfast? You know sugar is bad for you, do ya? Also, you know, if you couldn't figure out a career in your country, then you're gonna be equally worthless abroad. Just making sure. Dude, stop bothering me. Are you sick in the head or is your life this empty? Yeah, what a weird and unnecessary conversation. I don't know, what are you up to then? Oh, why was this so much easier back in the day? Hi, with a waving emoji. Oh, freaking hell, whenever it comes down to actually meeting people, they just disappear? Oh, yeah, usually that means they met somebody. And when it doesn't work out, they come back. Ah, I get the drift. Well, welcome back. There are other reasons too. I've installed and uninstalled this app so many times in the last year for various reasons. Sorry for whining, I kinda am into you a lot. Why's that? One, well spoken, not a freaking bimbo. And two, you're hot as. You can play a bimbo for me sometimes though. If you want it really rough, act like a brain dead biatch. Oh God, I'm very confident and kind. I live my life thinking that anyone who doesn't respect and like me is human garbage. Oh my God, I don't like fake crap. I don't have time for that. I'm daddy and you're my princess. The relationship evolves from that, but it has to be established that you know that I'm the crap. I won't accept anything less than that. I don't need to find girls to have the horizontal mumbo with. I have girls at my feet. I have enough girls to do the horizontal mumbo with every day of the week and rotate on Sundays. But if I found my true you know what, I'd only need her. I'm sick of bimbos is basically what I'm saying. Oh my god, your misogyny is showing. Oh, that's baloney and hogwash. Lol, what? I'm not misogynistic. Well, your vernacular suggests otherwise. That's not fair to say that. Uh, yes it is. <laughs> Did you not read what you just said? How not? Bimbo, brain dead, biatch, blank, more bimbos. What you're saying is you don't respect women, lol. Hey, we all have biases. I'm just saying it shows. That's talking about certain types of people which are not regulated to a gender. Has nothing to do with being a woman. It seems pretty regulated to me. But like I said, we all have biases. And then there's two messages that I'm a thousand percent not reading. Gross. I had a great time tonight. Good morning. All right, I get it. You ain't feeling this or am I overthinking? It was a really super nice evening and I enjoyed myself. I just didn't really feel a spark between us. Yeah, all right. I totally get it. I did way too much on a first date and maybe you ain't used to those kind of treatment and you know, flowers on a first date. No, it was very nice and super thoughtful and I really, really appreciated it and I feel bad, but I wanted to be honest. It's all good. Genuine men usually don't get appreciated enough or sometimes seen as too good to be true. Good luck with the dating thing. Wow, yeah, that's not what they said. <laughs> Genuine men usually don't get appreciated enough. They literally said, and I really, really appreciated it. So unless they get into a relationship with you, they don't appreciate it. That doesn't make any sense. Good morning, how are you doing? I'm sending this message and you can read it when you have the time and energy. First of all, I apologize apologize for anything that might have happened recently, whether it's something I said or how I said it or anything about my behavior. I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable in any way. I'm sending this to you because you're one of the only two people I feel comfortable sharing this with. So since I feel comfortable sending this to you, you have the freedom to respond to me honestly and however you'd like. As I mentioned, things have been tough for me lately. I won't go into the details right now, but I will say that it has made me even more honest and sincere in my day-to-day -day life about everything. I don't know how you reacted the other day when I asked you out or if your silence was already your answer but I'll ask again just to be sure and not bother you with it anymore. I don't know how you feel about this regarding me but I've always had a sexual desire for you. Please, this doesn't mean that I don't value our friendship. I even used to talk to my ex about the possibility of the three of us getting together someday. Anyway, I just wanted to know if you'd like to hang out with me someday, do something more or just chat, which I would already love 
And also, since I use this sexual aspect to deal with my problems, if you would even send me nudes. <laughs> That's it. I'm sending this because I wanted to. And feel free to respond however you'd like. And of course, know that I will never use or abandon you for this. And that everything I've done and will do was not just for this. Because I know how you are when it comes to men. So you can be sure that everything I've done, do and will do will always be with the idea of keeping you comfortable. And everything will be reciprocal. That's it. Kisses and have a great Sunday. Oh yeah, nothing says you value a friendship like everything they just said. Like you obviously can't value it that much. Top three ways to lose your girl. One, be respectful. Two, prioritize her. Three, truly love her and treat her like a queen. They all want somebody who's gonna treat them like garbage. Like the fact that you think you are perfect and the fact that you think you haven't done anything wrong. I feel like that mentality in itself isn't a good sign. This will not make you lose a girl. By this, you won't even get a girl. We girls expect a boy to treat us like a queen and then we treat them like crap. Not everyone though. Yeah, that's true, bro. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's a woman. <laughs> oh yes, us women, we don't make any sense. And we expect a boy to treat us like a queen when we treat them like crap. Like, I'm sorry, but surely that's a nice guy in disguise. Well, son, your dad liked 87 of my Instagram photos all at once and messaged me hi a bunch of times, even though I don't get messages on Instagram from people that I don't follow. So he then called me a stupid B arch, and that's how I was absolutely sure that he was the one. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it really doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? He insulted me so much that it really made me realize that he was the love of my life. Yeah, wow, that's so funny when you see it from that perspective. During childbirth, the pain is so intense that women are almost capable of feeling what a man feels when he hears, I love you as a friend. Wow, okay. <laughs> like, I know they're joking, but there are definitely people who believe this. Why are men only nice to you for three weeks, lol? Because girls ignore the actual nice ones? Gross, that has 600 likes. Every guy I've met who's called himself nice has been narcissistic and they're usually abusive. Yeah, I can't believe that has 662 likes. That's so bad. Claims to want a nice guy. Ignores any that approaches her. Yeah, okay. <laughs> is it just me or is this sort of content exhausting? She said that she can't find a nice guy. Can someone tell her to check her friend zone? Yeah. <laughs> like they're not that bad, but they're still pretty bad. So I had this one bad date experience I just wanted to share. Here's what happened. Hey, it's not all men. This is an attack on the entire concept of men. Stop sharing immediately. All men are at risk. Yeah, as soon as there's any complaint about a guy, all the comments are like, oh, well, you should have chosen a nice guy, you idiot. <laughs> I'm obviously not nice because I'm insulting you, but trust me, I'm perfect. No one looks dumber than a guy who calls a girl ugly after he was just hitting on her. Yeah, a guy who calls a girl a uh, you-know-what for not sleeping with him is a strong contender. Nah, they're the same guy. Yeah, like, please be with me. I need you, my queen. And then they get rejected and they're like, oh, well, you're ugly anyways. Shout out to all the dudes who've stopped being my friend because they realized that I'd never sleep with them. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, that's really sad. And like that kind of sums up the whole friend zone thing, doesn't it? Like you don't really want to be friends if you're in the friend zone, do you? I have a question for all the girls. How come y'all want a relationship so bad and you want to be treated right so badly but when the perfect guy is right in front of you, you reject him and hit him with the I'm not ready for a relationship excuse. It literally shows that it's all about looks. Yeah, but you're the only person saying that they're a perfect guy. Maybe they're not a perfect guy. And also, even if they are, doesn't mean that somebody has to go out with them, you know? I am literally the perfect guy, so if you don't date me, that means that you're an awful person? Like, no. <laughs> That's not how people work. That's quite the list of compliments. Lol, I'm spoiled to have such biased friends around me that will give me such shining reviews. Although I don't understand the Shakespeare reference. How does one sound like Shakespeare? Is it how verbose you are? Eloquent? Witty? Romantic? That person probably never read a book in his or her life. I shall write you a review worthy of the wall once I get a better taste of your seemingly intoxicated 
intoxicating personality? By all means, regale me with your endless wit and charming attributes while we engage in conversation. I can't wait to see if there's a female counterpart to my persona. Yeah, what are we reading? I believe they found my speech patterns can lean quite flowery, and I actually quite appreciated that compliment. And I'll be honest, insulting a stranger and saying that they've probably never read a book, even if it's a joke, is not the best way to start off the conversation. It comes off kind of condescending. You don't got to put someone down when you don't have context to the conversation it came from. You seem like an interesting person all on your own, so that should be enough to get you on the wall of quotes. If we do get far enough in the conversation... Ah, I can see why a friend would call you to do the arguing for them. Fail to identify comments that were clearly in jest and jump straight into argumentative mode. Are you the type of woman to walk around with a proverbial chip on your shoulder? Am I now about to suffer through some girl boss rant <laughs> that portrays me as an a-hole while you conveniently avoid the truth? That you're maybe being a sanctimonious a hole by deciding to pick a fight instead of having a laugh with me? But see, it's through text. It doesn't come across as a jest. I don't know your sense of humour, so I can't tell what's a joke. You don't use any indicators like a lull or an emoji. And even then, it's just not a joke I'm comfortable hearing from a stranger about someone else that they have no knowledge of. And I wasn't picking a fight. I was saying, hey, that behaviour isn't cool with me. I'm going to do that because I'd rather be open and honest in conversation about what I'm comfortable with, especially in a place like this. Oh my lady, would a notarised letter of apology appease your raging justice boner? I didn't realise I needed to signal to you when someone's taking a piss on the whole Shakespearean thing. Sorry that I like to show people respect. You obviously don't. Your humour kind of sucks. Yeah, but wait a second. Did they call them an a hole That's so funny. That right there is why it's not working for you, lol. Get to know someone. Don't be focused on the horizontal mumbo. That comes off as pushy and creepy. Yeah, because after not getting laid for two years, I'm in the mood. That's my problem. Lol, nah. I never come off talking about horizontal mumbo. Literally don't even get that far if I wanted. It's like, hey, that's a cute dog you have there. What's their name? And then crickets. I went on four dates with a girl. Never mentioned the horizontal mumbo or how her cleavage was poking me in the eyes. And ghosted. Took a girl downtown and she ditched me. Took another girl downtown. I ditched her because she was acting crazy. Girl came over to my house to chill and smoke. She jumped out of my bathroom window and left without saying anything. Women freaking suck. The girl I went on multiple dates with, I even bought her a nice bottle of wine for her birthday. She seemed weirded out by it. Why did she jump out of the window? What happened before that? We were just sitting on the couch watching TV. What were you talking about? I don't even remember. I think we were just watching TV at the moment. Okay, so had you said or done something low? Talk me through the date. I'll tell you where you went wrong. Literally nothing. She came over. I rolled a blunt. We were smoking and watching something on Hulu. I don't even remember what. And then she goes to the bathroom and never comes back. You're missing some important details, lol. My roommate was in the house. No, she was a psycho. Lol, maybe. I feel like something must have freaked her out. Well, she's a freaking weirdo for jumping out a window, even if something did freak her out. Whatever. You know what the S word? She wasn't even good looking, but I lower my standards every so often just for some human interaction. Her loss in the crap. I'm the crap. Any woman that can't see how much of a catch I am is someone so far out of touch with reality. I don't even want anything to do with them. Yeah, I feel like the other person's right. There's definitely something else going on here that they didn't mention. Like, yeah, okay, maybe something did freak them out, but they shouldn't jump out a window. This one's pretty extreme, though. We don't usually read about people jumping out of windows. Actually, I don't know if we've ever read about somebody jumping out a window to avoid a nice guy. But yeah, there must have been something that made them feel like they needed to do that. I don't have baggage, and for me to move on, I would have just had to be interested in the first place. Okay, just for the sake of my last two brain cells. I genuinely wished you a happy life and I said don't contact me again and yet there you were again. You actually believe I'm a misogynist? I do, yes. Like the enemy of the females? <laughs> oh my god, that should be a slogan for a movie or something. My freaking god. No one else would talk to a girl the way you just did? Oh, you're dumb. Okay, clearly I really did. See, and there you go again. Calling me dumb. The enemy of the females. <laughs> Why was that so funny? But yeah, it's like, oh, hey, random person, you're actually mean and you say some rude stuff. And they're like, what the hell are you talking about? No, I'm not, you stupid B arch. You're proving their point. The Gift of Fear by Gavin DeBecker. When I encounter people hung up on the seeming rude 
rudeness of this response, and there are many. I imagine this conversation after a stranger is told no by a woman he's approached. Man, what a biatch. What's your problem, lady? I was just trying to offer a little help to a pretty woman. What are you so paranoid about, woman? You're right, I shouldn't be wary. I'm overreacting about nothing. I mean, just because a man makes an unsolicited and persistent approach in an underground parking lot, in a society where crime against women has risen four times faster than the general crime rate, and three out of four women will suffer a violent crime, and just because I've personally heard horror stories from every female friend I've ever had, and just because I have to consider where I park, where I walk, who I talk to, and who I date in the context of whether someone will, you know, want me, or you know, want me, or scare me half to death, and just because several times a week someone makes an inappropriate remark, or stares at me, or harasses me, or follows me, or drives alongside my car pacing me, and just because I have to deal with the apartment manager who gives me the creeps for reasons I haven't even figured out yet, yet I can tell by the way that he looks at me that given an opportunity he'd do something that would get us both on the evening news, and just because these are life and death issues that most men know nothing about, so I'm made to feel foolish for being cautious, even though I live at the center of a swirl of possible hazards, doesn't mean a woman should be wary of a stranger who ignores the word no. Yeah, that's right, 100%. You can say what you want, but women are made to be looked at. They're beautiful creatures, and no matter what they do, men will always admire them. We just started reading this and they're already calling women creatures. I bet every man here has at least watched this video three times on repeat. Me? I'm single, so I kept watching until I even liked the guitar solo that she was playing. And man, can the other dance without even really trying? Women are made to seduce, and men are made to admire them as God intended. I don't understand the haters here in the comment section, but then again, I'm one of the nicest men in this world. It's probably just me. No, they're joking, aren't they? <laughs> oh yes, I'm one of the nicest men in the world. There's no way they said that and they weren't joking. I mean, like there is, but how do you even do that? Oh yes, I call women creatures, but I'm also such a lovely person. FML, I hate it right now. I'm depressed. I feel like giving in and giving up. Anxiety kicks my ass every day. I force myself to be nice and kind for too long. Maybe it's time for the serious mean no freaks given to come out. My kindness and patience will no longer be taken advantage of because there won't be any to give. F people. People suck. You all suck. I'm done playing the nice guy. Be ready because you won't like what I'm about to become. It's all you people's fault. You are turning the nice guys into a-holes that are gonna run the world one day. No, not even a little bit. If you let other people turn you into an a-hole, that's so bad. And pretty much every single person ever could do this. But you just don't do that. And what, like everything's gonna get better because you're more angry and mean and not nice? It's only gonna make everything so much harder. Red Rover, Red Rover, send cute, financially stable, emotionally mature men right over. We do exist. Either we're stuck in your friend zone because you think we're too nice, or we're not interested in dating anymore because we've given 120% every single time and we get crap and abuse in return. Now we're very happy by ourselves with our pet dog or cat. At least they treat us great and they don't cheat on us or get forgotten about. I hope this helps you out, lol. Yeah, but are you saying that this person is gonna do that? And also, they said emotionally mature. And you know what isn't mature? Assuming that every person is the same and is gonna put you in the friend zone because you're too nice? Like, come on. Me looking at the girl I was genuinely in love with fall for another guy who's not even gonna treat her nearly as good as I would? I'm this close to giving up on females. Yeah, but do you know the other person? How do you know they're not gonna treat them well? It's super possessive. Like, oh, that person's mine. I own them. You can't have them. I'd treat them so much better than you anyway. You know, like, it's not even really focused on the other person. It's more like, I want them, so give them back. Like, they're not a person or something. About me. Country at heart, but living in the city. I'm too nice. I need to learn how to be a prick. Obviously, that's what everyone is looking for. Don't bother sending me your fake photos or BS. Being real is key. Just be true to yourself. XRP, if you know, you know. Yeah, like, this one isn't that bad, but if you get in the habit of thinking that you're too nice, then you're not gonna think that you ever do anything wrong. Even if you absolutely do. And you can really grow into a better person if you're like, hey, wait a second. Should I maybe not have said that? Or am I being too mean? Or am I not nice? But they're like, no, I'm perfect and I'm too nice. My only issue is I'm amazing. Hey, you're a good man with a good heart. I enjoyed our time together. About so-and-so, just try to 
see her as a friend and nothing more? Plenty of fish in the ocean, my friend. Just forget about your feelings for her, my man. It's her loss to lose a good guy like you. Because you know what? Girls find crappy men and then get abused or be unhappy. Then they complain, but they won't choose a good guy like you. You'll find your match, my friend, and you'll be happy. Oh yeah, she's just used to the crappy guys and BS that she's put up with. She doesn't know how to deal with someone being honest and genuine like I have. It sucks, but another lesson to check off. Yeah, that's kind of what we just talked about. Like, obviously, it's not my place to comment on stuff like this. But yeah, don't assume that you're so perfect and nice and never do anything wrong. Your boyfriend looks ugly. How did he even pull you? You're like a nine and he's a three. Yeah, so shouldn't even be responding to this. That's such an awful thing to say. Well, you're shallower than a kiddie pool. He may not look the best to you, but I can tell you he's a 10 in my eyes. And that's all that matters. Haha, <laughs> so it's the personality, huh? Well, let me tell you what. I probably got just as good, if not better, personality than your boyfriend. Are you joking? <laughs> you're saying the most awful things ever. And I look a hundred times better. So I got both looks and personality. Just dump him and come with me, lol. What, you can't see how rude this is? Oh yeah, I can definitely see that good personality. Lol, good to see you're coming to your senses. But anyways, if you want proof that I'm better than your boyfriend in every way, I'm 6'3", by the way. Just thought I'd let you know. But honestly, I doubt height matters to you. You're one of the few females I see who cares about personality. Laughing my ass off, I think your sarcasm detector needs repairing. Lol, you don't realize how much of a turn-off sarcasm is? Dude, they're in a relationship. <laughs> oh, this is awful. I'm only laughing because it's so ridiculous. Y'all need to be more direct and stop misleading men. I guess that picture didn't convince you, but what if I told you I'm... And I'm sure you can guess what they're talking about. I didn't ask you for that. And yeah, that picture is definitely you for sure. The way you've acted confirms that your personality is a zero. So respectfully F off. Well, to be honest, you aren't even my type. I just trying to make you feel better. You're a five to be honest and that's being generous. You don't deserve me. You dress like such an S word too. I bet you cheat on your boyfriend every day and he may even enjoy it. Oh my god. Freaking you know what lol. Have fun cheating on your boyfriend you know what. While I'm here getting every girl I want. I hope you've learned a valuable lesson. About me. No ugly chicks, fat chicks, baby mamas or B archers 35 and older. If you got too many piercings or got any sort of snake or dragon tattoos, use pronouns or identify in the least bit with LGBT, you can get right the hell out of here with that nasty crap. Up is up, down is down, left is left, right is right, boy is boy, and girl is girl. If you want to disagree, disagree with someone who gives a damn. And all that aside, I'm really a nice guy. Let's link. This doesn't really give off nice energy. Today was a prime example of how women want to be equal, but they can't handle certain stuff. I ask what women bring to the table if you take you know what away and they try to argue instead of answering the question. Somebody asked what did men, I, bring to the table and I responded with a logical answer and it's nah, you must be a simp or you're gonna pay for my bills or you need to be emotional there and all of these excuses of why what I bring to the table wasn't good enough but another dud comment to the same thing and they say you lying or ain't crap. Maybe you'll be treated equal when you act equal. What did we just read? I never understood this concept against women. If you like women, why question a woman's worth? Weird energy. Not trying to insult you and say that you're gay, G-H-E-Y, or anything, but if men only think that men are worthy, why even pursue women? Respectfully. Sean Mendes. Yeah, maybe he didn't mean it, but he wrote the nice guy anthem. Because I know I can treat you better than he can. And any girl like you deserves a gentleman. Tell me why are we wasting time on all of your wasted crying when you should be with me instead. I know I can treat you better than he can. Yeah, if there wasn't a photo of Sean Mendes, you'd be like, yeah, that's a nice guy and not an actual nice guy. I don't have any hair. I wear a wig. I've got alopecia, so my hair, it just falls out. It's so annoying to put back on. Keep it off. Powerful moment when taking off wig for the first time on a date. Yeah, but the ending is that she rejected the guy, saying that he's too nice. Damn girls these days. Remember, folks, just because somebody has a condition, it doesn't mean they're a good person. Eve can never find a nice guy. Jordan, keep the wig off. Nah, next. Some women are screwed. Yeah, but it's the same as always. They're just angry for pretty much no reason. Also, I haven't seen this, but even if they are a bad person, 
getting angry about it isn't the answer. Levels of nice guy syndrome. Level one, barely a nice guy. The nice guy syndrome is almost undetectable. Aside from a rare comment, probably doesn't even wear a fedora. Level two, somewhat nice guy. Blames every rejection or breakup on him being too nice to date. Generally a decent dude, but lacks self-awareness and occasionally wears a fedora. Very nice guy. Befriends women who've made it clear that they don't want to date or they're already in a relationship and they pursue them relentlessly. Often seen in a fedora. Level four, such a nice guy. A severe case of nice guy syndrome. Constantly complains of the friend zone and women only date jerks. Never seen without a fedora. <laughs> I love how they kept the fedora part in all of these. They think that all women refuse to date them because he's so nice. Avoid at all costs. Wow, that's so awesome. I just love how they put the fedora in every single one. Level four, they literally never take off their fedora. Some say that it's part of their head. Work crush has it made. Beyond frustrated with women and dating and society. My work crush is five foot two and chubby. She's cute, but not that cute. The kind of girl you crush on because you think you have a chance with her. An easy chance. Like you would even put yourself above her, maybe in the four to six range. Well, her boyfriend is a successful finance bro, making 200,000 plus. He's also an athlete, runs marathons and has a six pack and nice muscles. He's also a DJ on top of all of that and he's super extroverted and throws parties and has tons of friends and he's always doing something. I can't believe you have to do all of that just to get some mediocre you know what. Like I was crushing on her because she wasn't that great and I thought she'd be an easy one. Well, I was dead wrong. Average women can get exceptional men with ease these days. It's BS. How do I cope? I'm a simple man. Don't got the spark for that stuff. I just want to go to work and come home to a girl to you know what. Maybe get burgers and tacos on the weekend. Maybe a few coffees and then oh god, a couple of times a week. I'm not trying to be Superman the social butterfly. I just want a simple life with a moderately attractive woman, but it seems impossible. You've got to be an extroverted Chad to get anywhere these days. Beyond frustrating. Yeah, maybe it has something to do with calling other guys Chads and pretty much only seeing women as something that you can sleep with. Yeah, and then they cry when they get cheated on. A hundred percent. They'll want the good guy to clean up the mess after they get... Oh, God. You know what it and dumped? Bro, on God, us good guys don't want to keep getting left over Oh God, with kids in attitude. Where are all the good girls at, lol? Yeah, well, no crap, he's not pleasing her. Yeah, facts, and they say, why can't I get a nice guy like you? Hi, hello, you need glasses, I'm right here. Nah. <laughs> are we reading the same post? Look at the stuff that they're calling women. A you know what dumpster? Oh yeah, that's something a nice person would say. Men are easy, just be nice to them. Note, many women fail this simple task. Yeah, but it's not about gender. Do you think men don't do the same? Of course they do. Some people aren't nice. Some women aren't nice. Some men aren't nice. Some people aren't nice. <laughs> like this whole attitude that women are bad and men aren't is so stupid. Where are the nice guys now? Oh wait, they're dead? Moved on, in prison or married to someone who's right for them? Too bad, Mrs. Swift. Since your early days, you scorned all the nice guy suitors who wanted a soulmate in their sad, empty lives. Oh well, say la vie. Where are the nice guys now? Oh wait, they're dead. What do you mean? I love how none of these make any sense. LMAO, I don't have a girlfriend because ain't nobody loyal. Lol, same. Seems rednecks aren't the most loyal guys. That's why I don't call myself a redneck. I'm just an old soul country boy. If somebody actually gave me a chance instead of blocking me because I'm too nice. Oh come on, people don't block you because you're too too nice. Like, oh my god, this person is so nice and amazing. I better block them. Nah, dude. Women don't like men who will treat her as a queen. Are you a woman? No, but that's my experience. No, we do. Yeah, very few of you are like that, but most of you are attracted to toxic men who'll treat you like trash. Wow, telling them how they feel? No, sorry, I can't relate at all. I got a sweetheart for a husband and I'm never letting it go. Same goes for a lot of women I 
personally know. We want a real man telling other people how they feel. They're saying to their face, no, I don't want somebody who treats me like crap. And they're like, yes, you do. You all want somebody who treats you like crap. Girls don't like romantic men. No, girls don't like men who spew BS and give opinions about them, which were not asked for to begin with. Oh my God, 100%. That was so well said. How many times do we read stuff where they're like, oh no, this is how women work. I know exactly how all women think. They're all literally the same and they all hate nice guys. Like, yeah, that attitude is definitely off-putting, but people still like romantic people. Why females owe me the horizontal mumbo? Oh, here we go. I'm a 21-year-old virgin and I've never kissed a female. My whole life I was bullied in high school by the males and talked to like I have autism by the females, even though I don't even have it. I deserve to do you know what with the females. I want them more than every other guy. I'm a good person. I'm not a racist or a sexist or a bully. I've been bullied. I'm straight edge, unlike the rest of these Deegans in America. I'm assuming that means degenerate. I've never done drugs or smoked or vaped. Alcohol has never even touched my lips. But do any females respect or care about that at all? No, of course not. Yeah, but why would they? That doesn't make any sense. These worthless thoughts are getting run through and ghosted by FOA holes. I'm so freaking tired of hearing females don't owe you anything. You don't deserve anything. Shut up. They all owe me. Well, you're not gonna like what I'm about to say. <laughs> Nobody owes you the horizontal mumbo and they never will. That's not how that works. But yeah, big shocker if you treat people like they're just something to sleep with. Probably not gonna have a very good time. Women on campus. Most of the women here are stuck up. Too good for me. At least they think they are. I'm a really good guy and they like a-holes and I'm sick of it. I'm so freaking sick of it. It's to the point where if you have a girlfriend, I don't associate with you because I know you're a bad person. Oh my god. Bro, if you do that, you're the only one who's being a bad person. That's an awful way to think about something and that's so not nice. Oh my god, I can't believe we just read that because that's what women around here like. Just making assumptions. I tried Tinder. No luck. I'll open car doors for you. I'll get on a knee and I'll kiss your hand. I just need a bloody chance. Any advice or is every single female here that freaking shallow? Oh my god. You're not giving yourself a chance if you have this sort of attitude and you're so angry. Like literally the only person that's holding you back is yourself. And like I don't mean that in like a motivational sort of way. But if you assume that every woman just wants an a-hole and that somebody is a bad person because they're in a relationship, you're the one who has the problem. Here's the thing. Straight men already have much lower standards than straight women. As a matter of fact, did you ever see a man with a bed frame saying that he doesn't do the horizontal mumbo or date women without bed frames? Did you ever see a man with a car saying that he doesn't do that with women without a car? Did you ever see a man with a stable job saying that he doesn't get with unemployed women? Did you ever see a man with decent social skills saying that he doesn't get with socially awkward women? Women are not worse than men, but they have a lot to learn about having reasonable standards. Women often complain that finding a good man in the dating pool is hard, but they reject good men for the pettiest reasons possible. Yeah, okay, so I don't want to sit here and say that there aren't people like this, like the sort of person that they're describing, because there absolutely is. Like, not everybody is a wonderful person, but it really does sound like they assume that everybody is this sort of person. Like, women are all some big hive mind and they all think the same. That's the men we want. True. Right. Me three, sister. No, it isn't. They're too nice and boring. Another man telling women what they want. Another man thinking they know better than a woman. Another woman trying to gaslight. Perhaps not all, and maybe not even you. But you should ask how many men have been too nice for a woman. Yeah, the two nice guys who are just being nice to get the horizontal mumbo from women. Instead of just being a guy with positive masculinity. Toxic men. Yeah, but those aren't the men that y'all choose to marry and procreate with. Lol, stop lying through your teeth. Nice guys don't say the thing you said about women not choosing them. Men who say that are incels. I didn't say anything about women choosing me. I said women don't want nice. Nice is too boring for them. And not all, of course. Read better. And what, you're telling me not to assume? Yeah, that's what an incel would say. Any comment section where women talk about what's attractive to us is crawling with these low-life incels. It's gross. Then stop dating ding-dongs. Yeah, I bet you'd know. That's a masculine man doing it to a feminine woman. Wrong. That's a man with positive masculinity. 
masculinity, not expecting anything in return. He's simply being a good person, not like toxic, unneeded men. You need to change your environment if toxic is all you see there. Yeah, well then maybe you should just date men and leave us alone. You don't know what you want, woman. Here we go, another man who's telling a woman what she wants instead of just listening. Oh no, you got me. How could I ever respond to such an intelligent comment? Thank you for proving my point. Yeah, there's something so weird about not listening to somebody and just telling them what they want. Like they're literally saying to your face, like, yeah, we do like when somebody is a nice person, which by the way, is just bloody common sense. Like obviously <laughs> being nice obviously isn't like your whole personality, but you do need to be a good person. But yeah, being like, no, you don't want a nice guy. You just date a-holes. And they're like, no, I've never dated an a-hole before. And the nice guys are like, yes, you have. <laughs> I think they look cute together. Don't you think so-and-so could do better? It's so stupid how a girl like that acts like a puppy for a lazy hobo. I go to the gym, we're both in the same career, and she launched me to the friend zone. Not even a coffee date. And so-and-so is an a-hole. Won't even drive her to work, which she complains about. I guess she likes to complain. Seriously, what makes you girls want to marry a guy like that? Oh my god, this is awful. Can't you see how angry and bitter this is? Haven't they been dating for like seven weeks? Haha, <laughs> don't overthink it. They just might be a childhood crush. She's having some fun living it out. Yeah, that's right. And they also may not be an a-hole. It's super a-holy to assume that other people are a-holes. You called them a lazy hobo. Like, is any of this nice? Yeah, but it doesn't mean she's waiting for a ring. Focus on yourself. You'll find somebody else. But I want her. Well, try waiting a few years. It worked for so-and-so. Yeah, yeah, that's what she says. Friends for seven years is pretty sus. Stop being so bitter. Let them be happy. She's probably waking up with a smile every morning, happy that she's dating the guy that she was probably crushing on since forever. Maybe you'll make somebody feel like that someday, but you gotta put in the work. And they responded to a message and said, F me. Yeah, really not good. I feel like blaming everybody else and assuming that everybody else is like a worse person than you is a really slippery slope. Yeah, thank you, but it doesn't change how I feel. I refuse to acknowledge women unless they're one of my customers. I saw a woman outside my store struggling with changing a tire on her car. She asked me for help and I just kept walking. I even watched her and laughed from the inside of the store. Most women today don't deserve good men. Oh my god. How do you say something like that and then follow it up by saying that you're a good person? Like those two things kind of go against each other a little bit, don't they? Females do always like to pick the bad boys. They don't like nice guys like me. You're already a bad boy by insulting a woman after rejection, yet you're still not chosen by her? Yeah, oh my god, that's so true. We always read that like, oh, other guys are a-holes and bad boys while they say something that is so rude or awful. Like, are you sure you're not the bad guy that you're talking about? About me. If you match last and you're too lazy to tap on the wave thing, why do you think I'm gonna give a frick then? Actually a nice guy looking for something real. But lately I've been suffering because my back hurts from carrying all of these conversations. So sick and tired from this crap. So just sitting here smoking this cigarette, watching it burn right through the filter. And maybe I should stay off the internet because I'm just wasting my time. But I know I'm gonna be fine when I find her. That would make me feel I should give a crap. Okay. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to a new episode of a really bad Tinder bio. We read so many of these. But yeah, if you are super angry and bitter on a dating site, I feel like it is a waste of time. So at least they know that, I suppose. Oh my god, we're starting it with a Simpsons one. Girls don't say that you're too nice because they actually think that about you. They say it because you go crazy when you're rejected. Wow, that's so true. I've never even thought about that. Like they completely flip out when they get rejected. So they say, oh no, you're too nice. Just so it doesn't escalate anything. You should act a bit more alpha so she thinks you're a Chad. Try messaging her, get your boobs out now or I'll end you. Yeah, do not do this. Yeah, so are they being serious or not? Please tell me they're not being serious. That is so disturbing and so confusing if they're being serious. Like, oh yeah, I'm sure that'll work. That's a wonderful idea. Women don't want nice guys. When she hits 30 and asks where all the good men are, it won't feel so based. Did somebody start saying this and then everybody else started copying them? Because why does everybody think that women are just gonna turn 30 and be like, oh no, where are all the good men? Bro, that's not gonna 
happen to everybody. And if there's anything that needs to be talked about, it's this spiteful, resentful, angry attitude. Okay, wanna maybe date then? I'm just a very lonely. Aw, pets your head? No, 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 I meant in real life. Okay, you wanna date? No, I'm good. Oh no, crying emoji. Sorry, buddy. Why not? Because I'm not interested. Oh, of course not. Yeah. Oh, just go. Yeah, sorry, buddy. That's what everyone says. I hate my life. I know you'll find someone soon, but I'm not responsible for your happiness, by the way. Again, what I've been told for the past three years in my life. And I'm freaking, you know what? So that doesn't help me at all. Again, I'm not responsible for your happiness. Can you please get me a girlfriend? I don't think that's what you need at the moment. How? How the hell am I supposed to get you a girlfriend? Oh, just ask girls if they want to date a nice guy. Oh God, oh God. I never thought in my life I'd find one of you. A nice guy? I am though. I'm just a good person. Sure you are. Well, I donate to charity. I go to church. I'm very polite. I give to the homeless and stuff like that. Of course you do. I do. Yeah. Why don't you believe me? Because it seems like you want to get into my pants. No, I'm honest. Yeah, and I'm honest of how I'm definitely not interested. Oh, it's whatever. Yeah, not good. The amount of bullying I have to go through every day from men on the internet is insane. Every day I'm told to, you know what, myself or other hurtful things just by being a woman empowered by her body and simply existing on the same planet as these men. And it's gotten so much worse. Yeah, and the men that don't do this always get overlooked by women because women always go for the bad boy and then moan about men. Yeah, but why do you believe that every woman is like this? Don't you see how that's like the biggest cop out ever? It completely takes any responsibility off you and just puts it all on women. Like, no, it's not my fault. I'm literally perfect. It's all your fault, women. Why do girls just not want to date us? Just why? And that's in the feminine boy subreddit. A lot of them want buff muscular men that treat them like trash instead of ones that are actually good. Oh, women only go for the trashy guys and not a nice guy like me. Yeah, what? You really think that there are no women out there that are interested in somebody that isn't a buff muscular man that treats them awfully? Like, can you not hear how stupid that sounds? <laughs> yeah, he one million percent understands girls. He's gonna get cheated on because women will say that he's too nice and boring. Your whole personality shouldn't just be that you're nice because that probably would be pretty boring. But yeah, once again, the people that go on and on about how nice they are usually aren't that nice. Something, something about your morning horizontal mumbo feelings. Not opposed if we get to that stage, lol. <laughs> lol, sorry, I lack a filter. Yeah, don't worry, I got boundaries. Lol, it's cold today. Yeah, I push boundaries, so sorry. Oh, then this probably won't work then. I'm not down for disrespect. I didn't say disrespect. I think pushing boundaries is disrespect. I mean like I just did, just saying something like that. Okay, sorry. The one guy in the world that doesn't send unsolicited pictures, but I'm disrespectful? I don't get it. I'm a good dude on many levels, but screw it. Yeah, I don't know. Something tells me they're not a very good match. Our rating is hitting harder than a rock bottom, despite both being attractive, lol. I'm mean to people, so... You looking for attention and so am I, but sadly, you don't like me while we're both around? Doesn't narrow it down, dude. You expect me to remember every anonymous person who sends me photos? I have literally no idea who you are. Oh, well, there you go, princess. Well, you've seen me once. Oh, yeah, I think I said that you're average looking and that I don't find you attractive and that you don't seem to know how to take no for an answer. <laughs> oh, my God. I was just striking a conversation. I didn't ask you out. I get it, silly. I'm not asking you to meet up. I'm simply saying that we both want the same thing, that's all. But somewhat we are close-minded. I'm not close-minded. I just don't like you, lol. You're hilarious, lol. I like the fact that you're bratty. But no, I'm never gonna date you. Yeah, so why hasn't the conversation ended? You need some spanks. Can you ever have a normal conversation? Can you stop trying to talk like a dom to someone who clearly isn't consenting to that? I never said that I wanted to date you. I've already rejected you plenty of times. Lol, you make me say such things. All I wanted to have was a simple conversation. And you come out with the sissy attitude. You're so lucky not being next to me, I would fix you in minutes. Ew. And 
And I instantly told you that I didn't want a conversation and somehow you don't understand that? You keep trying to talk like a dom to me when I'm clearly not interested. I don't know what you think you accomplish by being disrespectful to people who aren't consenting to you, but all you're doing is showing that you're very predatory. Self-reflect. You constantly saying that you will correct my attitude isn't attractive. It isn't appealing. It's creepy. And you're a massive creep for doing that. The dollar store brand dominance you try to exhibit is just gross dude. I'm literally trying to level with you here and you keep thinking that this is just playful banter. It isn't. I can instantly tell you the minute you try to correct me if you were ever near me, I would instantly defend myself and call the police because you straight up strike me as a you know what? I'm honestly done talking to you. Wish you the best. No need for any more messaging. Bye. Whoa, this is shocking and I'm out of words. I think I'm going to save myself the energy from explaining things to you. Guys run away from girls like like yourself. I didn't see that coming. You might be beautiful on the outside, but you were one nasty, arrogant chick out there. Thank you for the clarification. You totally missed it. I think it's better to block each other. Yeah, that does seem like a good idea. No, but that was revolting. You don't say that to somebody. Whether or not they're being serious or not, you still should never say that. That's so awful. And the worst part is, I don't think they were joking. Nice guy explains why women aren't finding the men in YouTube shorts comments. Ladies, Let's be absolutely clear about something. And some of you are not going to like this, despite the fact that it's 100% true. And statistics back it up, so please don't shoot the messenger. Yeah, I have some serious doubts about that. I'm here to educate, not irritate. Ladies, when you reach the age of this woman here, which I'm guessing is about 25 years old, if you really can't find any good men that are worth dating, then I hate to tell you the extremely high probability as you've done it to yourself. I'll explain. Good ghost kings like me, we pay very close attention to what a woman says, how she talks to people, how she dresses, how she behaves in public, how she treats her closest friend or her worst enemy. So if you're rude and disrespectful and that's just who you are as a person, you're not going to find a good guy because we're not going to go after you. If you cheat, if you're 304, if you have OnlyFans, if you don't know what loyalty is, we're not going to go after you because you're not a woman of dating quality. If you're the kind of woman who wants to go out to parties, bars and clubs and act like you're single when you're not, wearing less fabric, whether you're admitted or not to get sexualized based on attention from other men, after you decided to wear that outfit and that's being polite, in turn sexualizing yourself for men other than your husband or boyfriend, have them buying you drinks enthusiastically trying to sleep with you, and you dancing and grinding on them in a sexual manner, is that again all of this behavior wouldn't be cool if your boyfriend or husband went went out and did the equivalent, but you expect it to be okay for you? That's toxic. That's not controlling. That is pure toxic. That's disrespecting yourself, your spouse, and your relationship. If you're the kind of woman that does any combination of these things and anything like it, it's not that you've only been going for boys. That's a symptom. That's not the problem. You're the problem. The good guys, even if you wanted to go after them, the kings, the men will not go after you because of everything that I've just mentioned. So if you're finding it difficult and you're honestly looking for a good man. I understand there's a high, extremely high probability that you're the reason why you can't find one and understand the consequences of your own chosen actions. You never will. You'll never be able to find the coupon for more than 24 hours. Again, not insulting, not hating, no malice number misogyny. Just the facts backed up by statistics. Have a wonderful day and be well. Like, yeah, obviously you shouldn't be grinding on people if you're in a relationship. Like, yeah, that's super obvious. And if you are somebody that's going to cheat on your partner, then yeah, that sucks. People like that suck. But that's common sense, isn't it? The rest of this, I'm so confused. And also, are they talking about a specific situation or are they assuming all of this? Because it isn't real nice to assume all of this. Watch this if you're a nice guy. Why do girls always date less attractive guys? So that's a free presentation. So is it like one of those alpha male Twitter pages that are giving out advice? Yeah, the fact that this is an ad is kind of scary. Like definitely take whatever it says in that video with a grain of salt because it's probably bad advice. Are you a nice guy? <laughs> There's no need to say that you're nice when you're actually nice. Yeah, very well said, Lisa. You don't need to convince people that you're a nice person if you are a nice person <laughs> because you wouldn't feel like you need to convince anybody or try and convince yourself that you're a nice person, which I feel like that's what they're doing a lot of the time. Trying to 
convince themselves that they're a good person. Flirt like a straight man. Go. Hey! Hey! Hi! Hey! Be arch. If I was a six foot five Chad with a six pack, you'd be responding. But no, I have the curse of being a perfect person. Nice guys finish last, don't they? The really sad thing about this is we've read stuff before where they didn't even say that many hey's before they said be arch. They would have been like, hey, 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 be arch. Why wouldn't you want to be a mother? Money, mental health concerns, a lack of external familial support. Familial is a word. I learned so many words in these videos. I'm with kids all day and I just enjoy time to myself. So what, when you get old at 60, you don't want any kids or grandchildren to play with? Money comes and goes. Mental health that will help you out to be a stronger person. What do you do? You're like a work with a daycare or school teacher. High school ain't kids, they're young adults because the things I was doing at that age, you have an infectious smile. <laughs> they're going from that to trying to be super smooth. I teach high school students and they're still kids, trust me. Just because they're experimenting and starting to do dangerous things doesn't make them any less of a child. And no, I'm completely happy and content in my life not having to take care of another human being. I think it's weird that everyone assumes that all women should want to be mothers. Yeah, I went back and seen that and I agree. This new generation still have minds of children. I'm born in 92. My era was way more mature. We carried ourselves more like adults. Thanks to social media has rotten the minds of the majority. And it's not weird. It's natural to think a woman to want a baby. There's women out there who can't, who wish that they can. You'll have a kid before your 40s. You'll see, lol. Good morning. How are you today? <laughs> I love how in this conversation they have like two different personalities. Yeah, I disagree with everything you said. Teenagers have always and will always be immature. These teenagers are still equally as mature as your generation and also my generation. Of course, there are women out there who want kids but can't have them. And there are women like me who don't want children. I'm not going to change my mind and it's an extreme turn off that you're insisting on all women wanting to be pregnant or to take care of a child. Have a good one. Oh, you'll hit the wall in your mid 30s. You'll see. A very selfish woman you are and you can see. God bless your selfish soul. Just because you're a teacher don't mean you got common sense. That's why you teach and I solve real life problems. A woman who's brainwashed by modern day feminist occult is the biggest threat to society. Remember this message. You'll hit the wall in your mid 30s or early 40s. And when you're alone with no husband or kids, you'll regret not having any kids. Wow, you're way more misogynistic than I anticipated. Yeah, like how hard is it to understand that not everybody wants the same life? And having children is definitely a life changing thing. So why would you want someone to do that if they didn't want to? Like the people who want to have kids are still going to have kids. It's not like every single person ever has always wanted to have children and trying to convince somebody who doesn't want kids to have kids. Nah, dude. I'm not a feminist. I can do equal and I can do chivalry, but I can't do both. Either I open the door for you all the time or I open it half the time. Looking for an adult human. <laughs> well, that's good. Sorry, an adult human female who knows her own mind and takes responsibility for her actions. That last sentence is so funny. I am looking for an adult human female. Jumps in my UFO because I'm an alien. Do you have any adult human females? <laughs> Do you have any other questions? A bit of advice. Next time you try to chat up a girl, make sure she isn't a lesbian first. Okay. You know I'm also Les. Okay, I have a girlfriend though. Thank you for the offer, but I'm not interested. Listen, stay with me for a few days and see how I am. Don't like the chances of that. Sorry, no thank you. It was really nice of you to say hi though. Okay, but can I ask one thing? I want a friendship with you. You don't even know anything about me. I want to ask any questions from you. And yes, one lass can see the other lass's boobs. So I guess you shouldn't be shy anymore. I'm not going to show you my boobs. But why? Because I'm not comfortable doing that. I don't know you. I've told you no. And I've told you that I have a girlfriend. Trusting is a good thing. <laughs> if less doesn't trust another less, then who will? And you also know how much the world hates us. Did they mean lesbian just then? I hope you trust me for once. Otherwise, today you will break the heart of a lass. Do you think I'm going to send a stranger a photo of my boobs for female solidarity? Like genuinely? I am not a stranger. I belong to your community. I've never met or interacted with you though. And you know how much respect people give to their society. It's okay if you want to break hearts. Go. 
Michelle. My family doesn't like me anyway if I'm lass. Bye. Take care. Yeah, you too. Please don't ask any more strangers for photos of their boobs. If there's a problem in giving a picture, then I can video call for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're interested in that. And it seems to me that you don't see the pain of your cast member, but it's okay. I'm not showing you my boobs. Be happy that's what you say. Bye. With a broken heart, crying and sad emojis. I can't believe you would sink so low. Human female, how dare you not send boob picture? No, but for real, that was a hilarious conversation. Wow, I just wanted to say that I'm looking at your smile rather than your privates. Oh, okay. You look very pretty. Sometimes I ask myself, why do beautiful women such as yourself go around flaunting themselves when they could find a nice guy? Now I must bid you adieu. Yeah, thanks. That's a very kind. So I'm going to take that as a no for finding a nice guy as opposed to showing your you know what on the internet trying to be a good person and then you have to totally disregard my feelings and what I'm trying to offer you. Hmm. I guess I'm looking in the wrong place. I wish someone would think about me for once. Oh my god. So angry all of a sudden. Also definitely not all of a sudden because they were definitely angry the entire time. Like what some person on Reddit is meant to just drop everything and go out with you or something. They do not need to feel bad about this. This one's irritating because of how confusing it is. The wall is undefeated. She wasn't good enough for anyone. Addicts don't care about anyone but themselves and boomer addicts invented the game. Question. Blah 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 blah. Where are all the good guys? Answer. You left them in your 20s. Nobody cares about your kid, your job or your apartment or your boss mouth. What are we reading? I don't know what a boss mouth is. Every girl is different but there's one thing that they all have in common. They go for guys that don't respect them. Wow, what do you mean? Every girl is different, but they're all the same. <laughs> if you genuinely think that all women go for guys who don't respect them, you need to realize that that's a you problem because that's not reality. Please hear me out. I've been rejected twice during high school. And by the way, so has pretty much everyone. My first rejection was by a female classmate during my sophomore year. She was a cute five foot one girl while I'm five foot five. I was nice to her all the time and I respected her. One day I asked her out but she rejected me. Not long after that she was at a party and made out with a tall guy while being drunk. I also didn't get invited to that party. She didn't want to date a nice guy who respected her but had no problems making out with a tall F boy who doesn't give a damn about her. Yeah almost like people have preferences. Maybe they weren't interested in something serious you know. Or maybe yeah they have preferences and they're attracted to this other person. That's not a crime. My second rejection was by a sophomore girl during my senior year. This one hit me the hardest. Just like with my previous girl, I was always nice to her and treated her with respect. But when I finally asked her out, I got rejected. And yet this S word is having the horizontal mumbo with random dudes. Yes, I have autism. Yes, I'm socially awkward. Yes, I'm short. But at least I treated her with respect. But she'd rather go and get with guys who were just using her for the horizontal mumbo. Why do every girl go for these obnoxious men? Why not go for someone who treats them with respect, such as myself? I'm losing hope in humanity. Why are girls like this? Oh no. Why do they only care about tall, handsome, and obnoxious guys? God, I hate this world. I hope World War 3 happens. Oh God, so that all these girls and guys suffer? You need to not take it personally, you know? And people have preferences, and they're attracted to certain characteristics in people. That doesn't mean that there isn't some somebody out there that's going to be interested in you. It just means that these people weren't interested in you and that doesn't matter. You know, like not everybody's going to be attracted to you. Not everybody's going to be interested in you. But it doesn't mean they're not out there. Need to stay way more optimistic because getting into the super toxic attitude and mentality like this where you start getting angry at them and blaming them for rejecting you and stuff, that'll make it almost impossible. I'm sorry guys, I'm very passionate about this. Why you, Nahi? Shaking my head hard, being a nice guy out here. Have fun being with some self-absorbed a-hole your whole life, shaking my head. To think I really fell for your trap, and now I have to live with that? That will forever alter my thoughts of you as a person and everyone else around you. Freaking b -arch, it's people like you who make nice guys around the world stay inside and be depressed. You absolute b -arch. You seem nice, but your true colours have shown. And they're putrid. I hope you live with the fact that you missed your opportunity to find a man that will love you.
you and be the father of your children. Bye, I'm blocking your number, so don't try and reach me when you realize the mistake you've made. Wow, what? You can't go on about being a nice person while you're calling someone an effing biatch. Imagine you walk past somebody in the street and you were like, hey, top of the morning to ya. And they looked at you and said, oh, you're a freaking biatch. Would you or would you not think they were a nice person? Probably not. It's the truth. They give their best to men who hurt them and even give them kids. While a good, nice man who wouldn't even hurt them once, they get rejected and destroyed. Hell is hell and the devil is the devil. When they destroy good, innocent men who only want to love them, they created this atmosphere and reality for themselves. They deserve whatever they have coming. Don't save her. They don't want to be saved. That bit where they said they created this atmosphere and reality for themselves. How much does that remind you of like incels and stuff? Like having this awful attitude that is actively making your life worse? And the root of it is how you think about things? That V dude from BTS is very cute. Really? Another girl who likes a BTS? I'm very disappointed. I'm using a throwaway account to message you, but I've been following you for two years and I have my notifications on for you. I thought you were different as you're the only Asian I've seen on Twitter who doesn't talk about K-pop. Well, until yesterday. What's with females new obsession with feminine Asian blanks? What happened to those who like masculine men? Take a look at Jason Momoa, Channing Tatum, Brad Pitt. Those are attractive men, not some Asian guys who look like girls and wear more makeup than the average female. It's upsetting because it gives us masculine men no chance, particularly guys like me who like Asians. Oh my god, dude, you're not making a very good argument. This isn't going to make them want to date you more. Let me just insult everybody so you like me more. Nah, dude. I would like to apologize for not being the good looking Hollywood type or movie outcome you're looking for. I'm a real man, the one you tell people you're looking for, but actually bypass me because you're lying to those people. You will not find a more honest profile than this. That's calling your bluff. Yeah, it's not that bad, but it's also definitely not amazing. What are you doing tonight? It's quite late and I got work, so nothing. Checking messages before going to sleep. Where do you live? I'm out having a drink by myself. It's my birthday. I live in Easton so-and-so. Oh, happy birthday then. Thank you. You're far away. Otherwise, I would come to visit you at home. No, you would not. Why? Because I'm not going to let a stranger into my home in the middle of the night. I'm not a stalker. Just a guy. It was to see and get to know each other. Yeah, fair enough, but not at my house in the middle of the night. All right, I tried. It was nice to get to know you. Bro, what do you expect? Saying that you're just going to show up at somebody's house when they're not asking for that? That's not like a nice gesture or something if they don't want you at their house. Well, I tried being nice. I'm so sad. Today's the day I get my hair done and we were supposed to go out because I was going to look pretty. Look, it's like this. I know I'm a perfect catch, all right? If you can't get past that little bit of verbal abuse, more than I'm sorry I was trying to push you away. And if you just go that easy, then you were never meant for me. If I can't get past a little verbal abuse, wow. I shouldn't have to go through verbal abuse and cry to keep you? That's the opposite of a healthy relationship? No, no, no. I'm the perfect catch. Yeah, if somebody's saying that they're the perfect catch, I kind of straight away don't believe them. If you were perfect, you wouldn't say that. This guy on Hinge said that he wanted to be nice to me and make me feel special, so I ghosted him. Total red flags. Dude, I'm a lawyer. I've been on trial for three days, but since you want to talk red flags, you're sulking because you didn't get enough attention from someone who owes you literally nothing and that you probably won't even be able to understand or be appreciative of the fact that my schedule is incredibly busy and I have a life of my own. Oh, you were doing the gaslighting ignore until you get an understandable negative reaction and then act like I'm a needy loser. Got it, I like that one. That's probably the number one sabotage method I run across on here. Anyway, clearly you have no desire to do anything except fight and be defensive so you enjoy yourself and good luck. How does I was on trial for three days translate to me gaslighting you? Because you weren't on trial for 72 hours straight. There was in fact 38 seconds in there to type the words, I'm gonna be busy for a couple of days. Talk after if you were inclined. I would have said, cool, sounds good. Hope you kick some ass. Well, obviously you've never been in a trial where you're actively focused for eight hours. Not to mention the 5am waking to prep and get there, the post-trial discussions with the clients.
client and the prep for the next day and only having an hour for lunch during which you don't even want to look at your phone because your brain's not even capable of handling any more information and then getting home around six trying to make dinner and do your daily household chores and get to bed at a reasonable time so you can do it all over the next day forgive me if the last thing on my mind was some random internet dude on a dating site yeah once again this one wasn't that bad compared to other stuff that we read on here but they're acting like they're in a committed relationship or something like they said some random internet dude on a dating site but the other person's acting like they're already in a serious relationship or something like why have you not been messaging me random person on hinge hi just letting you know that i'm not really interested in the whole flirting coming from you the whole beautiful and oh damn arrest me first yeah yeah whatever have a good one i guess me being sweet and funny isn't for you well calm down mr nice guy esta bien you just not used to it you probably get thirsty guys hell nah dude i'm gay yeah the very first thought is i must be too nice like when they said that they weren't interested in the flirting they could have been like yeah cool no worries and it would have been fine well well look who we have here it's me your favorite toxic male the guy who single-handedly rescued chivalry from extinction i'm looking for someone with a passion for a sustainable career if you're still slinging burgers at mcdonald's or folding clothes at pennies please swipe left the guy who single-handedly rescued chivalry from extinction that's such an amazing sentence okay dude y'all want to blame men for everything and yet you can't even stay out of some other dude's bed or you don't have any real skill at anything y'all just taking up space at this time yeah i'm being for real most of y'all can't even truly contribute to society and you still think that y'all the crap and should be treated like a queen like are you for real you don't even do anything that matters get degrees for what stuff that doesn't even matter do stuff that's so easy that anybody can do it and still act like you're worth this and that you want to party and do your thing cool i'm just saying don't say you want a relationship if you have any doubt that you might be wrong a lot of us dudes are trying to wife up and take care of our women i know i am why would a high caliber man want a low caliber woman oh sorry a low caliber women you can't be this angry and bitter towards people and not expect to have problems like just a frustrated and bitter and angry hopefully they're not angry like this all the time because that's not gonna help women hang around the finish line and they sleep with the winners they apparently don't care about your struggles what do they look for success indicators house and car and high income and good style if that's the case why don't we all opt for success by any means necessary i think i'm a moral person i'd like to achieve success by moral means but i legit feel like women's sexual selection is incentivizing bad and unethical behaviors if the goal is the only thing they care about honestly there isn't much holding us back besides the law we might as well all become machiavellians and use whatever effective means possible succeed by being moral and good you can also succeed by being unethical what are you talking about why are we even giving power to these women who can't even think clearly straight and logically why are we letting them to sexually select man i don't understand yeah i don't understand either what the hell did we just read so they were talking about unethically becoming successful they're acting like every woman in the world is the exact same person when women pick the chad that is a horrible person but looks good seven years with that man and you'd still be with him if he didn't die randomly as for your next guy if he's a good guy you're probably gonna get bored and have the same fate when you replace him for another toxic chad yeah i don't know why people think like this oh yeah you're gonna go date a toxic chad bro there's nothing more toxic than being like this i really don't know why the nice guys always get screwed over somehow in some way if i start being a ding dong y'all are the ones that caused me to be this way i'm sick and tired of it wow taking no responsibility for it oh my god i'm just so tired of being the nice guy in life all i do is get screwed over if i start being a ding dong to people don't ask why if you're only being a nice person as like a tactic and then you just start being a ding dong then were you ever nice in the first place and also that attitude of like oh you made me a bad person that's so not good and i feel like we need to read something wholesome guys i hope you had a wonderful time and that was really fun but yeah let's read some wholesome memes me who trains legs three times a week a 42 year old father who hasn't seen the inside of a gym since the cold war yeah some people have dad strength like some dads are so strong for no reason uh hello 
I can't sleep. It's because of what you do. What I do? You make reality better than my dreams. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. I love that. The Sunday kids ones are always so cute. Kids, go make her smile. And they go and try and cheer them up. That's so cute. I really hope animals actually do this. Come on, kids. Go and make them happy. Keanu Reeves gave each member of his stunt team customized Rolexes to celebrate the completion of John Wick 4. The John Wick 5. Jeremy, thank you. Keanu. John Wick 4 2021. Best rap gift ever. Wow, that's so awesome. I think they're Submariners, aren't they? Watch people that are watching. I'm pretty sure they're like 15 or 20 grand each, aren't they? Probably cheaper in US dollars and not Australian dollars. But yeah, wow, that's a really generous present. And once again, thank you for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time, guys. That was so fun. I really enjoyed that and I hope you did as well. If you did, make sure you absolutely tip your fedora at that like and subscribe button and let me know down below what you thought. And the comment of the day goes to Kai. I'm listening to this while I'm drinking my coffee, doing a paint by number and playing with my dog. What a way to start the day. Kai, that is so awesome and I hope you had a beautiful rest of your day. That's a good way to start a day. How did I start my day? I had Chico with me and I made some food food and edited some YouTube shorts. That's so much more boring. But yeah, thank you for starting the day with my videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure you have a beautiful, amazing rest of your day. And you know what I'm about to say because I say it every single day. Bye! <laughs>